wife to any husband by robert browning read for LibriVox.org by capricia page my love this is the bitterest that thou who art all truth and who dost love me now as thine eyes say as thy voice breaks to say shouldst love so truly and couldst love me still a whole life through had but love its will would death that leads me from the brook delay i had but to be by thee and thy hand would never let mine go thy heart withstand the beating of my heart to reach its place when should i look for thee and feel thee gone when cry for the old comfort and find none never i know thy soul is in thy face oh i should fade tis willed so might i save gladly i would whatever beauty gave joy to thy sense for that was precious too it is not to be granted but the soul whence the love comes all ravage leaves that whole vainly the flesh fades soul makes all things new and twould not be because my eye grew dim thou couldst not find the love there thanks to him who never is dishonoured in the spark he gave us from his fire of fires and bade remember whence it sprang nor be afraid while that burns on though all the rest grow dark so how thou wouldst be perfect white and clean outside and inside soul and soul's demean alike this body given to show it by oh three parts through the worst of life's abyss what plaudits from the next world after this couldst thou repeat a stroke and gain the sky and is it not the bitterer to think that disengage our hands and thou wilt sink although the world was love and very deed i know that nature pass a festive day thou dost not throw its relic flower away nor bid its music loitering echo speed thou lets the stranger's glove lie where it fell if old things remain old things all is well for thou art grateful as becomes man best and hadst thou only heard me play one tune or viewed me from a window not so soon with thee would such things fade as with the rest i seem to see we meet and part tis brief the book i open keeps a folded leaf the very chair i sat on breaks the rank that is a portrait of me on the wall three lines my face comes at so slight a call and for all this one little hours to thank but now because the hour through the years was fixed because our inmost beings met and mixed because thou once hast loved me wilt thou dare say to thy soul and who may list beside therefore she is immortally my bride chance cannot change that love nor time impair so what if in the dusk of life that's left i a tired traveller of my sun bereft look from my path when mimicking the same the firefly glimpses past me come and gone where was it till the sunset where anon it will be at the sunrise what's to blame is it so helpful to thee canst thou take the mimic up nor for the true thing's sake put gently by such efforts at a beam is the remainder of the way so long thou needst the little solace thou the strong watch out thy watch let weak ones doze and dream ah but the fresher face it is true thou'lt ask some eyes are beautiful and new some hair how could one choose but grasp such wealth and if a man would press his lips to lips fresh as the wilding hedgerow's cups there slips the dewdrop out of must it be by stealth it cannot change the love kept still for her much more than such a picture to prefer passing a day with to a room's bare side the painted form takes nothing she possessed 
yet while the titian's venus lies at rest a man looks once more what is there to chide so must i see from where i sit and watch my own self sell myself my hand attach its warrant to the very thefts of me thy singleness of soul that made me proud thy purity of heart i loved aloud by man's truth i was bold to bid god see love so then if thou wilt give all thou canst away to the new faces disentranced say it and think it abjure it no more reissue looks and words from the old mint pass them afresh no matter whose the print image and superscription once they bore recoin thyself and give it them to spend it all comes to the same thing at the end since mine thou wast mine art and mine shalt be faithful or faithless sealing up the sum or lavish of my treasure thou must come back to the heart's place here i keep for thee only why should it be with the stain at all why must i twixt the leaves of a coronal put any kiss of pardon on thy brow why need the other women know so much and talk together such the look and such the smile he used to love with then as now might i die last and show thee should i find such hardship in the few years left behind if free to take and light my lamp and go into thy tomb and shut the door and sit seeing thy face on those four sides of it the better that they are so blank i know why time was what i wanted to turn o'er within my mind each look get more and more by heart each word too much to learn at first and join thee all the fitter for the pause neath the low doorway's lintel that were cause for lingering though thou callest if i durst and yet thou art the nobler of us two what dare i dream of that thou canst not do outstripping my ten small steps with one stride i'll say then here's a trial and a task is it to bear if easy i'll not ask though love fail i can trust on in thy pride pride when those eyes forestall the life behind the death i have to go through when i find now that i want thy help most all of thee what did i fear thy love shall hold me fast until the little minute's sleep is past and i wake saved and yet it will not be end of poem this recording is in the public domain.